Coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. What's good, guys? Prince Sports. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Man, do we got a bunch of whack jobs in sports YouTube? You guys don't know jack shit. And when it pertains to sports, you guys are really lacking and you over, overvalue words. The term superstar is not a word for every player. Every generation has about seven superstars. That's real talk. Okay? In every sport, there's only about seven to six superstars per generation. All right? And in the NBA, it's no different. All right? There's only about seven superstars I could think of bat. You got the three currently uh, older guys, you know, the Holy Trinity, uh, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James. Then you got the Joker, um, Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, Jason Tatum, and Joel Embiid. That's about it. That's seven superstars. Everybody else is not a superstar. And that's including uh, Luka. Not because he won a game last night. Don't make him a superstar, Okay. Being a superstar is a model of consistency. Turning your team into a title contender each and every season while you're in your prime. And also playing at a high level, being dominant, and those dominant stats leads to wins. You don't have to win the championship. You just have to be in hunt for a title each and every season for the most part. Jimmy Butler went to the NBA Finals twice. You don't call him a superstar. You know why? Because he's not a model of consistency. He's not on the court each and every night. Being a superstar is not just showing up for the postseason. It's also showing up for the regular season, too. It's all year round. It's just like being a parent. You can't be a parent for two hours, 24 hours. Being a parent is all day long, every single day, 365 days a year. Right? Same thing with being a superstar. You got to play at a high level damn near all the time. Most of the time. So, Anthony Edwards, Trey Young, Luca, uh, Shea Gildas Alexander, uh, Shat Holmgren, Zion, and all these other cronies are not superstars. They're just the all-stars. They have a good season or two. Maybe they flame out sometimes. Sometimes they flame on. It's as simple as that. And Luca don't have regular season success. Being a fifth seed, a sixth seed, a seventh seed, an eighth seed are not stuff warrant of a superstar. That's not celebration. Stop having lowered expectations. Lowered expectations. How about win 60 games consistently? How about win 50 plus games? Consistency. How about be a one, two, three seed consistently? You are playing with Kyrie Irving, all right, who's another guy that's not a superstar. He's an all star, just like Luke, all right? Um, so, with that being said, man, you guys really need to pump the brakes a little bit. Stop calling everybody a superstar. You know what's after a superstar is an icon, all right? And that's affecting. The world outside of your profession. And only a, there's only about three guys that really do that in NBA terms. That's LeBron, Jordan, and Kobe. I could go anywhere in the world and say, hey, do you know who Kobe Bryant is? Yes, we have heard of this Kobe Bryant. <laughs> okay? I can't do that for Anthony Edwards. I can't do that for Luca. I can't do that for none of these cronies. They're just young boys. You know? Luca is a good stat stuffer. He's a very ball-dominant basketball player. But he's not a superstar. Superstars transform their teams to title contenders. He's been in the league since 2018. Jason Tatum had 60 wins, been on a first to three seed multiple times, led his team to the NBA Finals, is a real MVP candidate. You know, Luka got a lot of hype behind him. But with all that hype and that media love that they do for him because he's a foreigner player he has to appeal to the brighter skin he's a good player to promote and advertise i get it just like caitlin clark but caitlin clark not a superstar neither she puts up good numbers but she don't know how to win you you forget that she keep losing 
It's the same with Luca, you know? But Luca's even worse because he's not even in the mix. At least Caitlin Clark is in the biggest game on the biggest stage there is. He ain't. He never even been to the finals once yet. You played with Jalen Bronson. You had a good supporting cast. Each and every year, the Dallas Mavericks play. You don't even look at them as title contenders, really. You say, oh, maybe they could take it to the next level. Maybe they have a good season. They're going to be the dark horse. That's not a title contender. That's not a mark of a superstar. Until you could do that, then you become a superstar. And do it consistently. Win consistently. I'm not talking about win one year, then fall off the map the next year. Okay? If you go to the conference finals this year, you better be in hunt for a title and to go to the conference finals again next season. You better be consistent at it, and you better keep on winning. And not be a fifth seed or a sixth seed. Lower seed uh, players on teams don't deserve to be in the MVP conversation because it's always about winning at the end of the day. <sighs> Drink the coffee and make you feel better. Stop having lowered expectations. Okay? Expectations. Stop being on Mad TV, man. You guys are bozos. You know, you use everything for a superstar. Anthony Edwards just started playing good basketball, won one playoff series, and you calling that man a superstar. <laughs> he ain't no model of consistency. You don't even know it yet. He's only 22 years old. Luka ain't a model of consistency when it comes to winning and being great. Just because you put up bad, um, good numbers don't mean you're a superstar. By that logic, Bradley Bill should be a superstar then, right? Then he put up good numbers on a bad team that don't win. Superstars win games, okay? They make people talk about their team to say, oh, they're going to win the championship this year. They hot. Luca barely does that. Miss me just because he having success for one season. Shit, you should have success. You've been playing since 2018 already. You finally have a good season. Woo! Let's start doing confetti on the ground and calling him a superstar. Sports out. Peace.